Hey guys, it's Jim Bounds at Co-op Motor Works and Motorhome Rehab Ranch on Patreon. You ever been in a thing, you're, you're, you're watching Facebook or something, and somebody asks a really good electrical question? You know, something basic. <laughs> and by the time these guys finish with it, you're trying to build a nitrogen rocket or something. I mean, it just gets so complicated, so convoluted, and all you wanted to know was how to plug the thing in kind of thing. Well, <clears throat> let's not get complicated for a minute. And I'm going to talk to you, not you guru guys. I want to talk to you guys that are just buying your motorhome <clears throat> and trying to understand how it works. Okay? GM floor plan coaches have a utility door right here and in that utility door is an electrical connection it looks kind of like that big old cord all right by the way this is something you may want to consider nice little hold up there to hold the door so you don't have to hold it with your head you know like you're in here like you know doing this kind of thing you prop it up <clears throat> so inside here on a GM floor plan now Coachman and uh, Transmode floor plans could have switches inside. That's another whole can of worms. On the GM floor plans that have a utility door right here, right here in the corner is a 50 amp or a 30 amp for you 23 footers receptacle. Okay, right there. Now, 45 years of good intentions, what I say right now could be totally wrong because it could be changed. But originally, the generator that's right here, the output of that generator is patched in to this receptacle. So if you think about it, the generator output is right here. Okay. Now, this cord, this has got a really nice one, big, fat, 50 amp cord. On the 26 foot coaches, it's a 50 amp cord, just four, four, uh, you know, uh, terminals on it. What you've got are the white, it's always neutral. Then you've got a black and a red. Each one of those is hot. If you read from white neutral to black, you got 110. You read from white neutral to red, you got 110. You say, well, what happens when you read from black to red? In RV world, you get zero because there's two legs of 110. In the home world, if you ask a uh, journeyman electrician about that, you're gonna get 220. I'd prefer to put two legs of 110. So think of it that way. So if you're wiring your house to plug your coach in and you have a 50 amp plug, tell your, tell your electrician to have two legs of 25 amp circuits off of the same bus. That way, you won't ha you'll have zero voltage here, but you'll have 110 here and here, okay? All right, so, you got this cord. The cord is connected to the fuse box, to the circuit box, not fuse box. Hey, if it was 40 years old, you call it a fuse box, right? It's a circuit box, AC circuit box inside there. This cord goes directly to it. So, right now, the cord goes and is plugged into the wall. So the power goes in here, goes directly to that, few, that circuit box, and it runs the thing. So you're going to leave. Okay, you take the cord, you roll it up in that compartment, and some of you guys that uh, live in uh, cold areas, you know that that's sometimes not real easy to do. So. You coil it up and then you take that 50 amp plug that's on the end of this cord and you plug it into that receptacle. Why? Because this goes to the circuit box and that goes to the generator. And if you plug into that, the generator can feed the circuit box. Make sense? Now, like I said, Royales and, and some other things and over 45 years, someone could have wanted to improve it and put an tr electric transfer switch in there. It is an improvement until you don't know that it's there. That's not an improvement, that's a problem. That's why you need to kind of know what's in there. 
GM kind of used the Kiss Simple system, and you just call it up and plug it in, and she's done. All right. Now, <clears throat> when you plug it in, you got power there. What have you done? What you're doing is you're putting 110 AC power to your coach. So the question is, does that run your lights, your inside lights? Well, no. The lights in the motorhome run off 12 volts, the 12 volt living electrical system, not the 110, okay? I know that sounds real simple to you. Some of you guys are probably, you know, we have to go get another beer, I got you. But it's kind of a weird concept, but the lights in here run off 12 volts. Now, the battery that runs those lights is being charged by a charge system that's being run by this. So, if the charger has got power from here, putting power into the battery, and the battery's running the lights, so yeah, this is running the lights. As long as it's plugged in, you got power to the lights, and your charger works, your power converter, not inverter. Converter takes 110, creates 12 volts to charge the battery and run your lights. See what I mean? The original converter is called a buzz box. The buzz box is a gray box about that big. It's heavy as heck. Basically, it's a uh, big transformer with a full wave bridge rectifier, four big ass diodes with a heat sink. It's a DC welder. And it's designed to charge the batteries, but it does not turn off. It boils batteries out. So if you have an original gray buzz box, please get rid of that. The new chargers are solid state, they're very light, they charge hard until it recognizes that the battery is charged, and then it cuts down to a trickle charge, okay? You wanna have at least have a charger that has that, so uh, automatic sensing. So when it's plugged in, you have 12 volts charge, you can charge your batteries. Now, there's a whole nother talk we'll talk about uh, uh, power converters and what kind of batteries and lithium batteries and all those kinds. That's a whole nother world. But right now we're just talking about plugging this sucker in, getting power or running the generator, having power come out of here and have the power go to the coach. That's done right here. <clears throat> it's a very simple thing to do. Um, one thing you always want to remember, is a lot of people will take a, uh, a uh, uh, clothespin and clip it to the, the steering wheel. What's that for? To remind you to unplug. Not that it's ever happened before, right? But you plug that on, you put that on there. You could also put one there to drop your antenna down, but you know, we don't use antennas anymore. It's all on the phone, right? So, uh, yeah, it's a motorhome. It drives. We spend so much time worrying about the drive systems and going from A to B and all that. This series uh, of uh, talks is about the living area and how to, how, to, how to be cool, how to get something to eat, and how to sleep, you know. Um, we had a, a suggestion, how do you set the beds up? One guy bought the coach and couldn't get the beds going, so I thought we'd maybe spend some time. Some people say, that's crazy. You, know, eh, you never know. So... Uh, if you're wondering about this, guy just called me today. He was asking me, man, the, 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 the lights keep getting dimmer and dimmer and dimmer, and I don't understand. I said, were you plugged in? I said, well, yeah. Uh, is it charging? What do you mean? Ah, does your power converter work? No, his did not work. He was not charging his batteries, and yes, his lights were going dim. So that happens. <clears throat> understand how this works. All right, guys, uh, I know this may have been a little silly, but hey, silly's fun too, right? Um, thanks for uh, your support. I hope I, uh, this was fun, and um, we'll come up with something next time. See you then. Bye-bye.